Okay, today we're going to demonstrate for you a Bryant Universal ID grinder. Uh, some people call it a chucking grinder, um, but this is a Bryant ID grinder. Um, it's currently wired for 220 volts. And uh, let me go through a few features on it for you. Obviously, we have the hydraulic unit here. In back of the machine is the coolant system. Uh, mounted over here on the side of the electric cabinet is the, the oil system, uh, mist system for the lubrication of the ID spindle. Um, we have a, wood, a, a WA Woodward um, diaphragm chuck here with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six jaws. Uh, this is a very expensive chuck. Uh, this is being made today by a company called uh, uh, Fork Art, which is a division of Hardage Company. Um, very high precision, very high tolerance, uh, very expensive chuck actually. Uh, so this is a nice item. And with the machine comes a lot of these uh, jaws for this. Uh, of course, most of them are custom made uh, and people would make their own for their own particular jobs. Uh, we have um, the headstock here, which has not an electric motor, but a hydraulic motor. Uh, through the spindle here is the uh, air for driving the diaphragm collet. Uh, this is your workhead slide, and this is your cross slide. Now on a Bryant, uh, like a Heald, uh, this cross slide is uh, hydrostatic uh, ways. In other words, the machine doesn't actually ride on the ways, it floats on the ways. And if we come up close here, we can get a, uh, an idea. I have the rear cover, I have some of the guards off the machine just for us hooking it up uh, and unhooking it and for the video. So you see here the, the front uh, block here, is, which is actually the part that floats and, and guides the machine uh, in this direction and in this direction. And in the back, it's kind of pushing forward. But this is beautiful scraping yet because it just never gets worn out. It never actually rides on the ways themselves. OK, so uh, moving along here, this is your cross feed. Uh, this is your table movement. Uh, you pull this out to engage it push it in to disengage it. This is your feed control box. This is your in-feed hand wheel, and it's calibrated in, in uh, I think, tenths, I'm not sure, and, and half thousandths. And you have a zero stop, a dead stop pin. You have a fine feed wheel here to feed this in very finely as you go along if you want it just to work manually. Over here, you can disengage this hand wheel or engage it into the automatic feed. Uh, this is a dead stop that you can engage or disengage. Now when this starts feeding, uh, this knob here is to adjust uh, the, the, the frequency that it feeds. And the knob on the side is the amount that it feeds. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, the, on the hydraulic uh, headstock, uh, we're off now. And this would be one position and this would be rotating the other direction. And in the center position it would be off. And the speed is controlled by this hydraulic uh, switch here. So I'm going to go ahead and start the hydraulic pump now. These machines are kind of noisy. So you see here we have our table. It's got a nice float. I mean, this is a big, heavy table, and I, I can, I can, it practically wants to roll just because the floor in here is not straight. Uh, so I'm going to turn this on. It won't move as long as this hand wheel is out. So we'll put the hand wheel back in, and we get our stroke here. And we want to start the headstock. And up here is where we change the RPM. And this is your headstock adjustment here for in and out. So you see here as this goes along, it feeds. And I can control the amount that that feeds or how often it feeds. You like to set it so that the wheel comes out of the part and then it feeds and then goes back in. Now on a Bryant, unlike a Heald, if you just, you could shut off your table and actually let this continue to plunge in because the infeed here doesn't depend on your table reversal lever here like a lot of grinders do. This will continue to feed. 